Hey guys, how are ya? So today I am in Denver, actually States Park to be exact, and I am standing in front of If you remember Dumb and Dumber, I mean, I hope you're a fan like I am because I'm a huge fan. But this is huge for me. This is where they filmed the Lamborghini scene, the bar scene. We landed on the moon! Also, um, they filmed other scenes in downtown Denver, but right now I'm in the Stanley Hotel, which was built, built in 1909. Is that right? 1909? Yeah, 1909. And there's three parts to this. There's this one, I believe, this is the Stanley right here in front of me. Then there's the Lodge and the Aspire Residences. Residences? It was built in 1910 to be a replica dollhouse to this. Oh yeah? Do you want to you repeat that? What was that? He That's said it was... The Lodge next door was built in 1910, like a year later, to be a replica dollhouse to the Stanley. And also, this is the inspiration for um, The Shining. The author, what was the author's name? Stephen King, I should know that. He uh, he stayed here while he was writing The Shining, and, but it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't filmed here at all. It was just um, where he got his inspiration for the book. Um, so obviously this place is haunted. They do tours. Don't ask me when because I don't know yet. And yeah, that's about it. So we're just gonna walk around and check out the lodge, the bar. I doubt that they still have that. Um, that sign where Jim Carrey is like, we landed on the moon. I don't think that's there anymore, but, and the stairs, the stairs is also in the lodge. So it's kind of entirely different, but this right here would have been that street where the Lamborghini drives up. Um, camera was facing the other way, so I'm gonna turn around. But this is the area, it's all filled with uh, ice right now. But this would have been the spot right here. This is, it looks entirely different, but these are the stairs where, uh, Jim Carrey was standing. Um, so once they get with the Lamborghini, this is where they would be standing right here. And the Lamborghini would have been parked like right about here. He goes up the stairs right here. He's like, here you go, here you go, here you go. But yeah, this is the spot right here. that Lamborghini scene right here. None of this was here, of course, so it looks entirely different. But this is the street that Lamborghini drives up in. Walk up the stairs a little bit before anybody get. Oh, never mind. Somebody's coming. But right about here is where he would have been standing, or maybe here. I don't know. Here you go. Here you go. So, this is that spot right here. Here is the lodge, and right here is where the main stairs are in the movie. I thought this car was cool.
guest only. Good thing I'm staying here. filmed that famous scene right here with Jim Carrey. Let's go up, shall we? I'll race ya. So you might think this is the staircase for Dumb and Number, but it's not. There's another place. Stephen King would stay in. And there's a couple of uh, haunted rooms 407, 428. We're staying really close to one of those. Where's the ghost tours? Yeah, the ghost tours. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa, look at this. This is cool. Okay, um, so. Celebrities and royalty visit the Stanley. Stephen King's The Shining. <laughs> Stanley Anderson as Grady. Stephen Weber. Was inspiration and home of the author Stephen King during the creation of his masterpiece thriller The Shining. In 77, director Stanley Kubrick adapted King's bestseller into the famous movie The Shining, starring Jack Nicholson and Shelley Duvall. And you guys can keep reading. Dress as a set. Oh, that's so cool. And then the arrivals at the ball. And then over here, celebrities and royalties. He 
astronaut. And best of all, oh my god, that is awesome. Look at all the signatures. Where's Jim Carrey? Is that his? No. She has dinner here. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Jeff Daniels. Good interview, Jenna. Oh, that's freaking awesome. So I'm a little confused because if you looked right up here, uh, where is it? Uh, 1996 was in Stephen King Street. He's filmed in the Stanley. I mean, I thought it was filmed somewhere else, but maybe just exterior shots were shot in the Stanley Hotel. Uh, 1994, they've done films here. I know that one. Oh, they also filmed the Stanley Hotel. Oh, they found the records. So we're actually staying. Okay, this is my this is our room right here. We're staying really close to one of the haunted rooms, 407. So if you're ever staying at Stanley, try to book 407. It's haunted, supposedly. We'll find out. Cause we're so close. So um, this is the bar where they filmed that Mary Swanson and uh, that scene, <laughs> but I believe he would have been sitting right about there. The, the bar looks very, very different now. Um, like I don't even think that sign is there anymore. It would have been around the corner, I guess, but it looks so different. That's the entrance I was telling you guys about. It's it was there. We landed on the moon. This is the bar. Hey. Oh, yeah. How you doing? You're a little early. Uh, we don't open for about 45 minutes. So the bar is still I'm in the same so. place, but for some reason, if I wait at the bar, oh, come on it just looks so different. So to me, Jim Carrey maybe would have been sitting in one of these chairs right here. Um, because if you look over here, there's the sign, Man Walk on the Moon. So I want to say he was sitting right about there somewhere. Um, which is really cool. There's actually some pictures over here. Um, Mary Swanson's character, she's right on the wall over there, signed. She's actually right there as well. Jim Carrey is right there, which is really cool. Barbra Streisand is up there too. Uh, Pink is right there. Yeah, that's really cool. So neat! Excuse me. Is it 10 a.m. yet? Alright, so I think I was wrong. I don't think they were sitting over there. I think they were actually sitting right here. Because when I'm looking at pictures, you see that sign behind them? So I want to say they were probably sitting here, here, or here where I'm sitting. More than where those people are sitting. Anyways, I'm waiting for everybody to get out so I can get a better video and pictures, but yeah. That's what happens when you wait till the last minute to make a video. In the meantime, I'm enjoying my 
Red Wine. Okay, so I just asked the bartender why the bar looks so different, and she confirmed this nice lady right up there that this right here was the main entrance. So this was used during the movie. You see him coming in through those doors instead of these. This was all added on like in 2016, I believe she said. So all this was added on, maybe this bar as well. I think the bar in my probably was maybe on this side over here. The sign was probably in the right spot, which makes sense now because all the background looks the same. If you look closely in the movie, you'll see that right there. Um, so now it makes more sense and why everything looks so freaking weird. Also, these this nice couple that's sitting next to us, they also told me that they've been here. This is the second, second time here. The first time they came, it was a lot different and that was the main entrance. So now everything makes sense. Um, I've seen a couple of videos of this location on YouTube and everybody says that that's the main entrance and it's not. It was this one. Alright, problem solved. Bye! That's what I was telling you guys about. 217 is through those doors, unfortunately. You need a key. Our key doesn't... <gasps> Come on. I didn't know that. It does unlock it. So we're gonna find room 217, which is where Stephen King stayed in. Baby, what are you doing? <laughs> Ooh. Is that 217? It is 217. There it is, guys. That's room 217 where Stephen King stayed in. <laughs> Sorry. This one was trying to break the code up there. Did you break the code? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys check me out for my next filming location. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Actually, before the video is over, I wanted to interrupt because I wanted to explain a few things. Um, I actually went to Denver about a month ago, and I wasn't going to post this video now because I wanted to do Dumb and Dumber as a whole. Like, I wanted to do Denver, Breckenridge, and Denver, and then go to Utah and then post all my Dumb and Dumber locations as one video. But because of everything that's going on, coronavirus and such, um, which I hope everybody's staying safe and everybody's well, um, I don't know when I will get to Utah. So I decided now in March, which by the way, happy St. Patty's Day, that I would finish the video, post it, and just you know, just get it out there because I haven't posted anything since last month. So a month later, here I am now posting this video. Um, I do have another video coming out soon. Um, I apologize. I'm not a daily type of gal. I kind of post videos once or twice a month, once or twice a month, if I'm lucky, you know, um, I don't have the luxury of traveling as much. So my videos are, you know, sporadically but anyways i hope everybody's doing well i hope you've enjoyed this video and i can't wait 
to finish Dumb and Dumber. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys next time, okay? Take care, bye.